Hello and welcome to this episode of Follow the Instructions, where I take a product or process I'm not familiar with and see if I can complete it using only the instructions. I'm Elissa Nichols, technical communicator and owner at Doodle Communications, where I write instructions. So when I work with people to educate them and train them more on what I do, I find it's easier and a little more fun if I do it in ridiculous ways like this. I'm going to be putting on nails today, and I can tell you right now, I've never put these on, I've never had nails done, I've never had any of this in my life. I'm not really a nail person, um, you, <laughs> don't look closely at that, um, yeah, I, actually, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, it'll be fun, let's see if I can do it. Did you miss me because I just edited a bunch of me out because I had a very long episode of confusion over these nails. It's funny because I actually picked these thinking that they would probably be the shortest video ever and there would be no confusion over these instructions because I put polish on, this is glue and a nail. Um, here's where part of my confusion came in. The glue says tip application. It's like the first action-y step part of getting through these things. And I am not familiar with putting nails on or getting nails done in any facet. So I read that as the way they use tip here when they say expert tip. Expert tip. That's how I read it. So tip application. So how? what are the tips on applying these things? How do you get really good at it? That's how I read that. They meant tip, like nail tips, I think, because I think these things also come in shorter things and like they get filled in with some kind of cementy glue thing. I don't know. But that's funny because this is exactly why I do this, is to point out that instructions can be very confusing and it's so easy if you don't test with users who don't know the product. It's so easy to confuse people. So now that I've sorted that out, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> see if I can put these puppies on. Oh dear. So my tip to the nail people would be maybe um, next time use a graphic that shows me the difference between a nail and a tip. Get it? I gave them a tip. Oh dear goodness, I can't believe I'm about to put these things on myself. I'm going to take a little time out and do an excerpt here on packaging because I pulled this out of here. The instructions are on the back of the packaging and I had to open them very carefully to keep the instructions intact. Now, assuming this glue lasts me more than one set of nails, um, or if I don't do this very often, or whatever the case may be, those instructions are not on the bottle. So, when I destroy this or throw this away, I now have no instructions on how to use them again. So a little packaging tip, if your instructions are meant to be reusable, make sure that they can be reused and that they're not destroyed. Moving on! Oh, that's glue. I didn't need to buy glue, apparently. I wasn't sure either. I just knew it wasn't this heavy. Like, how many are in here? 28? Oof. This is stressful. Is this not a little bit stressful? It's a little bit stressful. I'm so not a nail person. I love polish, but not nails. Not This is, this is, this is awful. It does say on the side of the packaging that the kit contains the glue. But it's really fairly small on the whole scheme of the packaging, and I did look for something like that in the store. I just didn't waste a lot of time on that. So anyways, now that I've picked out my nails as they fit, those are so long, by the way. These are supposed to be medium length. I, 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 I feel like an animal with these on. Okay, um, back to the instructions. Here's another issue I have with these instructions, is that an action step is numbered. That's what indicates to us that we need to complete an action. 
but they do not include clean your nails or um, select the correct size nail for each finger, set aside in order. That's just something that bugs me as a tech writer. So now that I've already completed two steps that weren't numbered, we're on step one, which says apply glue to back of artificial nail. Step two is apply glue to natural nail. Step three is align with cuticle, press and hold for five seconds. And I have to say I prefer step three on the nail packaging compared with um, on the glue packaging it says slowly lower nail into natural nail hold until set because giving me a time to work with seems um, more natural in my mind than until it sets because I've never used these before so I don't know what until it sets means um, so give me the five seconds I prefer that okay applying glue Oh, I stuck to me. On the other hand, I can't grab anything now. Well, this was fun. Oh dear, I can't pick anything up. And I don't even know how I'm going to type. Whew. But I do have a few takeaways from today's little experiment. Um, starting with the fact that I, I did um, purchase the same brand when I bought these. They're both um, Bring the Salon Home Kiss brand. So I found it interesting that they did have discrepancies in how they chose to write the instructions. Uh, one of those examples was that one did tell me to hold in place until it was set, and the other told me to hold for five seconds. I like the five seconds because... I don't know what set means. I'm a new user. Which brings me to my main focus is that you have to write your product instructions or process instructions for the least qualified user. That would be me in this case. I've never used nails before. I've never watched anyone use nails before. So I was a great usability study on what could be confusing to someone who knows nothing about this. Um, so for example that homonym tip being used in each set of instructions but in a different way was really confusing to me and it could have been solved by making a simple illustration that told me hey you bought this kind of nail these are tips and this is how you do it they don't even need to define it just give me an illustration that's that has that little nail and says for tips do this and has the whole nail and says for nail do this um, and my last nitpick is if it's an action step number it make it an action step. Don't put a paragraph with multiple actions in it instead of just giving me numbered steps that let me finish the process easily. It lets me see it more clearly. Um, that's all I've got for this. It was fun to do. I just hope I figure out what to do with these now. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click the like button. Come and visit me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, I look forward to seeing you there too. Leave a comment, let me know what you'd like to see me work through next. Hopefully it's not as confusing as something as simple as putting nails on. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to talking with all of you again soon.